Hi, I'm Andrew Lyles for Parkinson Technologies, Park Tech Talk, where we discuss our web processing equipment for the plastics, paper, non-woven, and specialty products industries. Today we have Joe Connolly, the product manager for winding and slitting, and we'll be discussing surface winders with a focus on horizontal versus valley. Hi, Joe. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So uh, what can you tell us? What are we standing in here? Which machine is this? This is our uh, Mark II horizontal winder. It's a surface winder that's automatic, uh, meaning it will cut and start a new roll automatically without stopping the upstream process. Mm -hmm. uh, the definition of a horizontal winder is, uh, is such that the material, when it's winding in its primary position, uh, is building in a horizontal way away from the winding drum and therefore, as the roll gets larger and heavier, mm -hmm. it doesn't exert any more nip pressure on the winding drum than it did when it was smaller. So it's okay. very beneficial for materials that are sensitive to nip pressure. It can wind an extremely large diameter roll. This machine can wind rolls up to almost 10 feet in diameter. Wow. And as they get very heavy, we can uh, deliver very, very fine nip control uh, for the material that could be sensitive to that. Gotcha. As far as these type of machineries, um, what type of product would be used in it mostly? Uh, it's, it's important for materials that are sensitive to nip. Uh, as the rolls get larger, um, the internal structure of the roll can become damaged if it's wound too tightly. This, ma this machine uh, can wind a fairly soft roll. Um, it also has inline slitting um, and so it can slit the material and wind it into finished rolls. Um, the one uh, important point to bring up is that the winding shaft is only supported on its ends and, and therefore as the roll gets heavier the shaft itself has to be able to support that weight. Uh, so it is somewhat limited to the maximum capacity versus the diameter of the core being used. Okay. And this would be papers and non-woven, things of that nature? That's right. Okay. Very common in the non-woven market. So we, we have it rolling, it's coming out here. Now when we go down here, what happens at the end? So as the roll approaches its finished size, a new empty core is brought into position. It's lowered onto the web. The web is cut and the, and the roll is started. The finished roll then moves out to the unload position where uh, it's dropped off and this carriage can come back and wait for the next one and then the finish roll is removed using some sort of handling device. Okay. All right, so this basically was the horizontal. Could you show us an example of the valley? Yes, we can. Thank you. Okay, we were just at the horizontal machine. Now we're at the valley. Can you uh, tell us a little bit more about this particular one? Well, this is our Mark IV Valley Winder and let me just start by saying how they're similar. Uh, they're both automatic machines, mm -hmm. meaning they'll do a, uh, a start of a new roll on the fly without stopping the upstream. Uh, they both use our patented Positran assembly, which is used to transport the roll as it's winding from its starting to final winding position. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're both surface winders. Uh, how they differ is on this machine, as you can see, as the roll is winding, it's actually fully supported from underneath by the winding drums. I do see that, um, yes. And so it, it, it does tend to wind a, a, a tighter package uh, than the horizontal winder does. Is that product dependent on what could go here as well, or maybe it's, the strength of the material? It can be product dependent. In this case, you can see we're using a three inch winding shaft that's fairly long, mm -hmm. quite flexible it would not be able to withstand the weight of the material in the horizontal winder. There'd be too much deflection and that would result in possible defects in the, in the winding. Okay. Um, so it can be material dependent, uh, but also uh, core size dependent. Understood. Are there any other features of this machine that make it stand out from the horizontal? Well, it, uh, it can be uh, used for processing materials at very high speeds. Um, if you uh, can tolerate a, a tight wind, mm -hmm. it's, it's very good uh, for producing rolls that are tight um, and compact. If you're looking to 
condense uh, a, f a certain footage of material in a certain diameter, right. this is the machine to do that. And what sort of speeds are those that you're talking about? These machines can run uh, in excess of 3,000 feet per minute. Oh, wow, okay. Well, Joe, thank you again for your time and uh, showing us all these different machines. We appreciate it. Okay. Well, this has been another Park Tech Talk. We appreciate your time. We had Joe Connolly discussing surface winders with valley versus horizontal winding. If you found this video helpful, please like it, subscribe, and of course, leave your comments for us. Until next time, thank you for joining us.